I'm Dr. Michelle Jorgensen at Total Care Dental and Wellness, and today I want to talk to you about tooth issues and abscesses. Now, this is a big category, and I had to figure out how I wanted to really narrow it down and talk about the things that are most important. And what I realize is that people just want to know what means you have an abscess, which symptoms mean that, and which symptoms are things that can be treated in other ways. So let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, a tooth has three layers. It has an outer layer called the enamel. It's crystalline and has a lot of minerals. It has a second layer in that's called dentin. It has a lot of collagen. It also has a lot of nutrient canals that come from the inside of the tooth to the outside of the tooth. The inner layer is called the pulp, and that's where the nerve and blood vessels lie. Well, when you have a toothache or tooth issues, most likely it tells us that something is affecting one of those two inner layers of the tooth. Because the enamel really doesn't have pain sensory organs. It doesn't really hurt hurt. Um, you can feel it, but it's the inside layers that are hurting. So most likely you've had a cavity or a break in the tooth that's led to damage to that inside blood vessel nerve area. The key is how much has been damaged. If there is infection that has gotten all the way to the inside layer of that tooth, then what happens is that nerve actually dies. And as that tissue dies, bacteria infiltrate that area and congregate there and create an infection. That's what an abscess tooth is, is when the tooth has actually died, the nerve tissue is dead, bacteria have congregated and then infection has started inside of the tooth. Once it's at that place, it's a whole different story. So watch the section on toothaches and root canals and I'll tell you a little bit more there. The key is hopefully you've caught it before it gets to that point. So if you have sensitivity to hot and cold, that is usually a sign that something's going on on a, on a less deep level, on a shallower level, that's just affected the enamel or that second layer of dentin. Maybe a cavity's into that second layer. If it's just um, comes and goes now and then, if you have to chew on it or something has to happen for it to hurt, those are all actually good signs that it hasn't affected that inside nerve area. If your tooth is hurting all by itself, if it doesn't go away quickly, if it wakes you up at night, any of those things mean that you probably have an abscess tooth. So those are the things that you need to determine. If you are still in that hot and cold sensitivity, goes away pretty quickly zone, go to a dentist immediately because hopefully that's something that you're going to be able to get fixed very quickly and less expensively than if you let it go completely to the abscess point. So hopefully that'll help you to triage a little bit what you should do if you're having some tooth pain and tooth issues. Hopefully that will help.